guys, it's Allie Hardesty, and you're watching Seven Days of Slay, Friday edition. Today, or I should say this week, we are doing our first kiss story times or things that are kiss related. Being a story time YouTuber, obviously, I'm pretty freaking stoked. This is my first ever story time on Seven Days of Slay collab channel. If you're wondering, Monday's video, Stepanka, yeah, she thought that it was fall week because that's next week, so her video is a little bit out of place. If you know Stephanie, you know that that just that just sums up her channel and her personality and we all love her but we were very confused when she uploaded that so if you're wondering you know hashtag steph doesn't know what the weekly theme is and we didn't want to have to refilm for those of us who already pre-filmed this week so next week she will be doing a first kiss story time and we'll be doing fall so you know pumpkin spice is her one true love though so it kind of makes sense that that's what she did for this week's video. My story time for my first kiss is really, really cringy, but you're gonna have to bear with me here because I was in sixth grade. We all had our moments back in sixth grade. And I guess to start off the story, I wanna give you guys a description of who I was as a child right before sixth grade. So in fifth grade, I had moved from Wisconsin to California in fourth grade. So I was that awkward white kid with the accent. I'm still very pale, but at the time I was freakishly white because I had moved from the Midwest to the West Coast. So everyone was like, what's wrong with you? Like, what's wrong with you? I didn't have a lot of friends. I was brand new. I was kind of quiet, teacher's pet, total bookworm, kind of nerdy. I would literally stay inside for recess and play the Harry Potter board game with my teacher. I also got most likely to read 100 books before the end of summer at the end of fifth grade going into sixth grade. So that just kind of tells you like who I was in elementary school. I was so scared of guys. I thought they had cooties. I thought that boys had cooties. I didn't talk to boys. Going into sixth grade, it was a much different story. Over the summer, I kind of glowed up. I kind of went through like a transformation. I've always been really outgoing. So it was never like I was shy. I just kept to myself more in elementary school and in middle school. I was super bubbly and I just put myself out there a lot more. I was class president. I did a lot of things in sixth grade. I was on the cheerleading team and I talked to literally everyone. I was the only girl in my class who wasn't scared to talk to boys. I started going by Allie in elementary school. I had gone by Allison, which is my birth name. I don't know why I suddenly decided that I thought Allie fit me better and I started going by that. I upgraded from Justice to Hollister clothing. So I was popping, you know, my outfits were popping. And yes, I know this is so cringy. This is just how it was back in the day. These were the times, you know, that was what was trendy back in 2000 eight or 2009 this was the year where i had my first boyfriend my type of guy in the sixth grade mind you was anyone who looked similar to justin bieber wore purple bonus points if they wore vans that were checkered or if they had swag or they wore the silly bands or the i heart movies bracelets so that was literally my dream guy you know that was who i was into in sixth grade and not gonna lie pretty much all of middle school and going into the beginning of high school and so i like this boy we're gonna call him Tyler. He was the first guy I ever really had a crush on, I would say. I was obsessed with him. I was obsessed with him. He was the bad boy in school, okay? He chewed gum, he would pass notes, he was caught texting, he would turn in his homework late. Like, he was a bad influence in sixth grade. But he was like bae, like low-key bae, pretty much the entire year until I met official bae. We're gonna call him Skylar. Tyler and Skylar. That's easy to remember, I guess, for storytelling purposes. So, Tyler, he never really made the move to make me like his official GF. Like we were never together. The story is so gross. Okay, anyways, moving along. Everyone knew about us. Everyone knew that we liked each other, including our teachers that would always catch us passing notes, etc. And the way my middle school was set up, okay, it was an outdoor campus, which is kind of irrelevant, but we were set up into quads, which was like, a little area of the school you basically only saw your class and the opposite class throughout the entire year of sixth grade besides lunch so you knew your class and you knew the class right across the quad from you because you would switch classrooms with them so you had two teachers in sixth grade that was it so you'd switch one for math and science the other one for language arts and social studies you only teamed up with the switch class when there were projects going on or one teacher was absent and then you guys were watching a movie together or something but it wasn't like you saw them on a day-to-day -day basis so yeah tyler was in my class and then skylar Bay to come, official Bay, my first ever boyfriend, he was in the switch class. I hadn't met him up until this point until one day when Tyler was absent and then the classes merged and I met 
Skylar. He fit, again, the Justin Bieber criteria, the I Heart Boobies bracelets, literally everything. He would wear this purple hoodie every single day, and I thought he was, like, the hottest little thing to walk the earth. Oh my god, this is so gross. I can't. Anyways, so I met him. I liked him right away, and again, I was super boy crazy, but when I like someone, I like someone. Like, I'm going after them. I'm one of those people, like, I will get what I want. I won't stop until I get what I want. So, I knew I liked him. I wanted him to be bae. So, we started texting. We got each other's numbers, and at the time in sixth grade, this was when everybody texted, and they would be like, Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. What about you? Nothing. Cool. Cool. Like, the conversations went like that. It was so boring. Ain't nobody got time for that, but that's what we did. So we were texting, and then Skylar was like, Hey, G2G dinner, BRB. Whatever, like, he was gonna text me after dinner, and I was like, Wait, I heart you. And this is a four emoji, so I was literally like, I symbol three you. And then he said it back. I symbol three you too. And I was like, OMG, will you be my boyfriend? And he was like, Yeah, will you be my girlfriend? And I'm like, Yeah. So... I asked him out. I literally asked him out, right, in a text. So now, you know, we were dating. We would go on Club Penguin together. We would go on Gaia Online together. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically Club Penguin, but they were little avatars. So after school every day, we would talk on my house phone because I had limited calling and texting, but we would talk on my house phone and we'd be on Club Penguin, like talking. We were like boyfriend and girlfriend on Club Penguin. We would hang out at recess or lunch or whatever. And this wasn't messed up to Tyler. Like I wasn't being scandalous because me and him never really were anything more than friends. We would just flirt and we just kind of openly liked each other. He never made a move on me. That is his fault. He was one of those guys who acted like he didn't care about anything. Guys like that always get hurt because you do care and then you're definitely going to care who they date somebody else, but whatever. So there was like some awkward tension for sure the rest of the year. But one of my teachers, one of my teachers who obviously knew that me and Tyler had previously liked each other, whatever, she had read our notes in class, so embarrassing. She used to post them on the whiteboard so the whole class could read our notes where we were like, I like you, I like you too. Anyways, she called me up to her desk one day during class and she basically tried to give me relationship advice. It was super weird. She was telling me, you shouldn't be with Skylar, you should be with Tyler. Tyler's who you should be with, which I never understood because for one, Tyler was like the bad boy, the guy chewing gum in class. Oh my god, right? Like, that's so against the rules. And Skylar, the guy I was dating, by comparison, was a really good kid, so I never understood her logic for that. We only had those two teachers, so they were kind of close with us. They did know us personally, but why she was trying to give me relationship advice when I was like 11, I don't understand. I was like, whatever, this teacher's crazy, and I went back to my desk. Time moved on, Skylar and I continued to date, and Tyler was just whatever. He wasn't even a factor anymore, right? He didn't matter. So I was with Skylar. This story is so gross. Okay, our friends basically one day at lunch were pressuring us to kiss. We were sitting in the quad area outside in front of this like potted plant in between the two classrooms. And we kissed. I'm not even gonna give suspense to that. Yeah, oh my gosh, we kissed, right? It was a peck. It was nothing special, like half a second, if that. And right after we kissed, I see the blind shut from the classroom straight ahead of me, which was one of our teachers, the teacher who had confronted me about dating him over Tyler. And she comes out of the classroom, like screaming at us, and Skylar ran away. He ditched me. He left me there to fend for myself, but the teacher started chasing him. Like, she didn't chase him all the way out to the cafeteria, which is where he ran to. I don't know why he did that, because he had the teacher right after class. It made no sense. Like, he wasn't gonna get away from her. Our school was really strict about PDA, but still, the fact that she was creeping like that through the blinds, that is so weird. I don't understand it. I honestly don't know if she would have done this to any other couple in the sixth grade. I personally think that she victimized me in my first kiss and just came out yelling like that because it wasn't with Tyler. If I was with Tyler, I don't think she would have done that because for some reason she really wanted me to date him. But yeah, she came out like screaming at us because she saw us kiss and she chased him. And that's basically what happened with my first kiss. But to conclude the story, I just want to add a little side note. Because I did date Skylar, I continued to date him for the rest of middle school, and I think we even talked like my freshman year, but whatever. Besides that, we never kissed again until like seventh grade, I think, because this scarred us so bad that the teacher chased us and yelled at us like that. But in seventh grade, I was kissing him goodbye because my carpool was there to pick me up, you know, 
kiss him goodbye again, just like a peck. It might have even been on the cheek. Another teacher walks by and she's like, what's going on here? And she freaked out and then she asked for both of our names because she wanted to give us a referral, which was like a little thing on your record saying, oh, this person, they PDA'd out in the hallway where everyone could see. It was an outdoor campus. No one was at school. It was after school. I don't even know if you like technically could have gotten in trouble for that, but she wanted to give us a referral and she was like a super mean teacher. I didn't have her, but I knew of her because she was like that strict. And so when she asked for my name, I told her I was somebody else. I gave her somebody else's name and I still feel guilty about this to this day because that person was my friend. We weren't super good friends at the time. It wasn't on purpose. I wasn't trying to out this girl. I just knew that she didn't have this teacher because she was in my science class and that teacher taught science. So a few days later, that girl was telling me that she went to the office and she had a referral for kissing somebody. And she was like, I never even kissed somebody. I don't know why they said I kissed someone. I really didn't. And so she was trying to like fight the referral and her mom worked for the school. So I'm sure she was able to get rid of it. But yeah, I feel like much better getting that off my chest. Bailey Holden, I'm sorry. I really hope you watch this. I actually tried to text you because I wanted to call you live and like admit it on camera, but so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is my first kiss when a teacher chased me and when I pretended to be somebody else to not get in trouble the second time. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to go subscribe to my main channel for more videos and more story times and subscribe to 7 Days of Slay if you haven't already because Anna is posting an awesome video tomorrow and then next week's theme, Stephanie will be doing her first kiss because she thought this week was fall and then we will all be doing fall. So hashtag Stephanie forgot the theme hashtag Hashtag, hashtag Stephanie thought that it was fall theme, ha hashtag. Um, yeah, and if you guys want, you can follow my social media. I love you so much. Thank you for watching, and bye. <laughs>